Alright guys, boy do I have a really interesting video for you guys today. So, what you guys see on the screen right now is some old footage from a, a video I put up recently, which was me finding Senia Terrell's lightsaber on the GTN for 20 million credits. Now the scavenger pack has been released, so it's probably not news for you guys that this saber was on the GTN. But at the point at which I bought this, it actually, the scavenger pack hadn't actually even been released. Um, the Grand Chance Cubes were dropping items from the scavenger pack and so obviously Senya Tyrell's lightsaber which is platinum rarity was an extremely extremely rare drop. This was probably one of the only sabers on the Harbinger server. Maybe there were one or two other people that found it. And this person decided to put it up for 20 million credits and so immediately I saw the deal and I'm like I gotta pick it up. And after I picked it up I made a video on it and I was a little didn't really know what to do. I mean I wasn't gonna use it. I was even thinking about maybe giving it away but what I, des um, what I decided to do was actually put it back up on the GTN for an insanely high price and I decided to put it up for 500 million credits and if you guys haven't already heard I actually ended up selling it someone bought it for 500 million credits and I'll get into the reason for that later but firstly that's absolutely insane I mean I did not put it up there expecting it to sell whatsoever I put it up there just for fun just to just to throw it up there and kind of show off like hey I got Cine Tarot's lightsaber now putting it up for an insane price not in a million years did I think it would sell but as you guys see on the screen right now I have this one little item sale sitting there and that is going to be for 470 million credits and I sold it for 500 million but the deposit on the GTN was 30 million so I don't know I mean like I at the risk of sounding too arrogant and tooting my own horn I think this might be one of the biggest sales in Sotar history um, I mean I know a lot of people kind of do these type of troll sales where they put up stuff for insanely high prices the defined vented saber right now is on the harbinger for 666 million credits but um, you know, I don't think anyone ever expects them to sell. I don't think anyone ha has ever sold something for this high of a price. And I'm really interested if anyone has. Let me know in the comment section. But, I mean, I've never seen a deposit this big. Like, where the GTN has took, taken 30 million credits from me because I sold this for such a high amount of credits. But at the end of the day... I was able to actually make a profit of 450 million credits. And the point of this video isn't like, oh hey guys, buy low, sell high. I mean, obviously this is just a once in a lifetime scenario. I mean, I don't think anything like this is ever going to happen again, where someone, first of all, finds a deal like Senya Terrell's lightsaber for 20 million credits and then puts it up for an insane amount and it actually sells. Now, the person who sold it, as you guys see, actually put it back up on the GTN for 675 million. And so my initial logic was, wow, someone really wanted the Saber for their character and wanted to be the only one on the server with it, and so they decided to pay 500 million. But that's actually not the case. What it seems to be is this guy bought it for 500 million credits and then wanted to resell it for like 675, or actually he's put it up for a little bit more. He's trying to make like a few hundred million credits in profit. However, I'm narrating this after the fact, and so I know he wasn't able to sell it because back, you know, I could monitor his sale on GTN, and he kept kind of lowering it a little bit, and unfortunately, he wasn't able to sell it. Now, the Senia Terrell's lightsaber is on the GTN for like around 100 million credits because the scavenger pack has been released, so it's obviously going to be a lot more common. But, uh, but yeah, so the case wasn't that someone bought it because they really wanted it. This guy thought he was going to flip it. And so I guess this is kind of a cautionary tale, guys. Like, if you guys are going to invest 500 million credits into something hoping to make a profit, like, you have to be 100% sure it's going to sell. I think this guy took a little bit too much of a risk, and at the end of the day, he's going to be out because I don't think anyone's ever going to buy the Sabre for 500 million, even if it becomes super, super rare. Like, anyone who ever wanted it is probably going to get it now. Either they're going to buy it off the GTN or get it out of the scavenger pack. And um, even if he waits, like, many, many months... I don't think anyone's going to sell something for that high of a price. I mean, is anyone willing to pay 500 million credits for anything? I don't think so. So this was once in a lifetime, and I'm really happy I'm able to make a video about it. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's ever any video on YouTube that has this big of a sale. But uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I definitely got really, really lucky with this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.